Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Middleware Technologies. Today we'll be looking at how we can use observability plugin uh, in order to uh, capture statistics related to our API. Okay, so here we are going to use the logger plugin uh, to basically capture the requests that are getting into the API gateway. Okay. So I'm going to refer uh, the following uh, uh, guide uh, for this video. So basically in our last video we have seen uh, one of the feature of API 6 uh, API gateway that is request validation. Okay. So in request validation we were able to uh, basically filter the request at the API gateway layer uh, with any uh, request having a bad uh, JSON input and uh, uh, filter it so that it doesn't get uh, to the upstream. Okay. Uh, today, so we are going to look at another feature of the API 6 uh, plugin uh, that is observability uh, uh, plugin wherein uh, we will be able to capture the details of the API statistics using a set of plugins. So in that one of the plugin is logger plugin which will be able to which we will be using uh, in order to uh, log a request related to the API in a particular format. Okay. So this is a continuation to uh, my uh, last video wherein uh, we uh, had look we had a look at the request validation so most of the stuff will be uh, similar to, uh, with the basic setup so let us try to understand what is api observability okay so uh, if if you want to uh, get in short like what is observability uh, it is basically capturing the uh, uh, metrics tracing data, metrics data and logging data from a particular service or particular uh, host or whatever uh, infra uh, component we can say. Okay. So it basically helps us in capturing these three uh, uh, data, uh, these three data related to that particular component. Okay. So let us try to uh, see how we can uh, use the logger plugin uh, which will be uh, useful to capture the log requests for the api in this article or video okay so as a first step we need to ensure that api 6 service is up and running okay so if you haven't followed my last uh, videos on api 6 you can refer to them uh, in order to do a basic setup of uh, api 6 services using the docker compose okay so let me go into my shell so right now i do not have anything uh, okay so this is the docker compose file that i am going to use uh, as i did it in my last video so it has three services that is api 6 dashboard API 6 service and etcd. So we are going to start these three services. Okay, so all the three services are up and running now. So you can see like all the three services are started up. So we have our API 6 services up and running. Let me go into my documentation. Okay, so as a second step, uh, we will need to launch uh, an application uh, for this uh, demo. So we'll be using the microservices based uh, application on uh, written in Python Flask. Okay, so for that, we need to ensure that we have Flask installed. So we I have already installed it on my environment. So it is already there and I already have a, let me clear my screen, uh, a sample uh, application written in uh, Flask uh, which will basically take a JSON input and output the same JSON. Okay. 
So you can go through all this code uh, in my blog also, wherein I will be sharing this uh, information. And you can refer to my uh, previous videos for more information on the Docker Compose uh, related services. And now let us try to launch this application. Okay, now you can see like it is up and running on the following IP address and port. So I already have a uh, JSON data which uh, we'll be using to post it to the API. So let us try to post that JSON data uh, to the API, Flask API that is up and running. And you will see, like you will get a response uh, with the same JSON data. Now let us go into our step three, which is uh, the important step related to this article. That is configuring, uh, configuring the log format uh, using the file logger plugin. Okay, so basically, like file logger plugin is the plugin that helps us in uh, logging the request related to the uh, APIs uh, or the requests that are coming into the API gateway. Okay, and here, here in this step, what we are doing is uh, we are using the file logger plugins metadata in order to configure the log format uh, which we want uh, to capture in the logging uh, data. Okay, so basically, uh, this uh, file logger plugin supports two types of uh, variables or we can say the logging data uh, formatting variables uh, which are api6 related and nginx related okay okay so let me show you the, those variables also So these are the variables uh, that you can use uh, to uh, format your log in logging information uh, that is API 6 related and the other one is nginx related. So let me open this one also. So these are the API uh, nginx related variables that we can use in order to format our log. Okay, so I'm going to use the nginx uh, related uh, logging uh, f uh, variables. So as you can see, this is my request uh, uh, to plugin uh, metadata wherein I am uh, sending the log format that I want to uh, use or format with, uh, which is related uh, having the variables uh, from the nginx va uh, variables. Okay. So let me copy it. So as you can see, like I'm sending a curl request to the plugin metadata that is related to the file logger. And we are sending this log format, uh, which has the variables related to uh, the nginx. Okay. So let me send this request. So we have a response that means it has created the updated the metadata, uh, metadata uh, for the file logger plugin. Okay. So let me clear my screen now. Now let us try to create an upstream uh, for our backend application. Okay. So this is the curl request that we need to send to create our upstream. So upstream basically uh, we are creating upstream with ID one and it is of type round robin and it has our backend services uh, to which the request will be forwarded with IP address and the port. Okay. So let me create this one. So this has created our uh, upstream let me clear my screen and now let us try to create our route 
and this route uh, we are going to use the plugin so whenever uh, a request comes to this uh, uh, API gateway uh, the the route will decide on to which upstream it is going to send that request and along with that it is going to execute this plugin that is file logger plugin and save the request data into the following path that is uh, the the log uh, the request log is going to be saved into this file in the format that we have specified in the plugin metadata okay so let us try to create this upstream so here you can see like we are creating a uh, uh, sorry uh, we are creating a route with id1 so basically when a request comes with a method post or host with uri it will execute this plugin so that it will capture that log and it will send that uh, request to the upstream id with one so it basically sends the request to our backend flask application okay so we have created our route that maps to the upstream id with id one okay so now is the uh, important step where we can validate uh, our uh, file logging configuration so for this let us try to test our application using the api gateway url so we are going to send a post request with json content and with host example.com to to the api gateway that is listening on 9080 and with the context post json okay so let us try to send this request so you can see it has sent this request so let us try to send a couple of requests okay so now that we have uh, sent a couple of requests so let us try to validate the log file that gets generated in the docker container okay so for that we need to first identify our api 6 container that is con this container and we need to exec into that container okay so now we are into that container in that home directory that is user local api 6 and let me do ls minus ltr and you can see there is a logs folder that got created so let me get into that folder and clear my screen and you can see there is a file called file.log which contains our json formatted log and let me tail this file okay now you can see like our request log has been captured in the format that we wanted so basically it captured the user agent upstream header time upstream connect time route id status remote address request body white sends request time at timestamp and upstream response time so these are all the nginx uh, variables that we have used in order to format our log so this is how like we can uh, use the log uh, file logger uh, that is a plugin that is provided by api 6 in order to uh, capture the uh, requests that are coming at the api gateway layer but there are other so we have uh, we have just captured the logging data over here uh, that is one uh, type of the data that we can capture uh, using the observability plugin but 
there are other plugins uh, in this uh, in this section uh, in order to capture the matrix data and the tracing data which we will see later on okay so yeah so this is all i wanted to show you in this video thank you all thanks for watching this video and you guys have a great day